You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee. So the last place we left off, oh boy, he got some splaining to do. So Yuichi got sick. Probably he got a little bit of food poisoning from that place they ate at, but uh. Well, it does not explain Shuichi just sitting by his side, head and lap. So anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy, and let's jump right back into it. it might be a little bit, a little bit quieter because I'm, I'm recording at night. So if you if you hear if you hear nighttime nary, then that's why. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. All right, alarm chain, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> He's using my legs as a pillow of some sort, breathing slowly and deeply. When did he get here? He begins to shift, being stirred awake by my sudden movement and noise. His eyes blink sluggishly. His mouth opens in a comically large fashion as he yawns, sitting up on his chair and lazily rubbing his eyes. Huh. Uh, ah, Yuichi! Uh, Yuichi, you're awake! How are you feeling? Like I fought one round too many with an angry badger or something. What are you doing here? I shuffle around to my bed, and at that moment, I realize something's missing. I do not feel the familiar sensation of fabric against my fur. I look down underneath the blanket and... Well, uh... Did you take off my clothes? Yeah, sorry about that. You were covered in vomit when I found you, so I don't think you wanted to keep wearing those clothes. I gave you a quick rinse and got you back into bed. I also put your clothes in the washing machine. Uh, oh. Sorry for the trouble. Do you have any idea what happened to me? Shuichi gets up from his chair, stretching his back and yawning. How long has he been out for? You didn't show up for class today. I tried to give you a call around 10, but you weren't answering either, so I decided to drop by and check up on you. Um, I hope you don't mind that I used your spare key, but spare key, by the way. I don't. What else happened? I found you collapsed in the bathroom. You were looking awfully pale, and I didn't really know what to do, so I cleaned up after you and dragged you to bed. My memory is really fuzzy. I don't remember much of what happened after I came home. I, I seem to recall feeling sick, and there was a lot of puking involved. I remember my legs being so weak that I couldn't stand. I'm sorry. Huh? What about? I got a call from B from Buntasan, the owner of the food stand we went to yesterday. He called me to check up on my friend after he found out his new supplier sent him a shipment of bad shrimp. That's why I decided to drop by when you couldn't when you didn't show up this morning. So really, this is all my fault. If I hadn't taken you there yesterday, you'd have been fine. I'm sorry. No, no, you didn't have to apologize. I'm fine. Look, I get up from the bed, jumping back on my feet. Huh? Hey. It all went by so fast that my mind only registers it afterwards. My legs failed as soon as I tried to put my weight on them, and I fell. Shuichi reacted fast and grabbed me before I could hit the floor. Shuichi falls to his knees as he grabs me, his face landing squarely on his chest. Yuichi, are you okay? Jeez, don't be so reckless. You're obviously not okay. You're burning with fever, for God's sake. My mind doesn't really register his words right away. I try to push I try pushing myself away from him, but can't, but can't put any force in my arms. My body struggles to even move. H huh? What? I, why can't I... I told you to calm down. You're weak and severely dehydrated. When was the last time you had a drink? Uh, um, last night at the food cart? Damn, that long ago? We need to get some food and water in you ASAP. Hang on, I'll go grab you a glass of water. Shuichi grabs me tightly and tries to move, move me back to the bed. Once his hand touches my stomach, my whole body attempts to pull back, making me yelp in pain. Sorry, just bear it for now, okay? Once he's sure that I'm safely tucked into the bed, Shuichi gets up. I'll be right back, okay? Please stay still while I'm away. Hmm. I've never been one to listen to orders before. I try moving around a bit, but my body refuses to do it as, as it's told. I can't even hold a tight grip. Before I ha before I even had time to miss him, Shuichi is already back. God, he was so fast. Did he run all the way back here? There you go. Just make sure to... I immediately snatch the water glass from his hand. Just looking at it makes me realize how thirsty I am. Wait! Oh dear. My entire vision goes dark for a second. A wave of nausea hits me instantly. My stomach begins to turn. Yeah, drinking water, a whole glass of water on an empty stomach? Not a good idea. Use this. Shuichi puts a small bucket in front of my face. I grab it tightly as the water I just drank is violently rejected by my stomach. Yuck. I was going to tell you to pace yourself, but you really were in a rush, huh? Your stomach is really upset right now. You have to take it easy so it can have time to adjust. S sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll go. Uh, empty the bucket and get you another glass of water. Be right back. Just as he gets up to leave, I notice a stain has gotten on the cuffs of his uniform. Sh Shuichi! He looks down at the spot I'm staring at. Oh, this? Don't worry about it. I'll wash it once I get home. Hmm. And once again, I'm all by myself. 
Only now do I realize the sun rays hitting the drapes of my bedroom. Wait, it can't be that late already, can it? I look around for a bit to find my phone on top of my dresser next to my bed. I pick it up and check the time. 13.22. And he said he left class to check up on me. That means he's been here for quite a few hours already. And he spent all this time taking care of me? Oh god, I can't believe he went through all this to take care of me. A wave of guilt assaults me. I put the phone down and try getting up again. Even though he told me not to, I just can't stand lying in bed like this. My stomach begins to cramp and my legs try to resist me at every step. They start shivering uncontrollably and I fear I may collapse. Uh, give up and get back to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, if I keep going like this and fall, Shuichi wouldn't be here to catch me like last time. I could get really hurt. Plus, I can't bear any- I can't bear to trouble him any further. I'll just do as he says and rest, even if it bothers me. I let myself fall back into bed and take a deep breath. For the first, for the time being, I guess there's nothing for me to do but wait. To which he emerges from the door once again, another glass of water in his hand. You got changed? As luck would have it, I decided to pack some extra clean clothes today since I wouldn't have since I wouldn't be having volleyball practice. Big coincidence, huh? Well, not that it matters now. Here's your water. Just go slow this time. Take it half a sip at a time if you can. <laughs> you don't have to stare at the water like that, you know. It's not gonna hurt you or anything. But what if I react the same way as last time? Just so we're clear, you haven't poisoned this, right? Just drink the damn water already before I force it down your throat. Alright, alright, just calm myself. <laughs> I place the tip of the glass on my lips and let some water run down my mouth. Oh man, I just want to drink this whole thing already. But I can't but I can't keep causing trouble for Shuichi, and I'm sure he wouldn't like to get puked on again. No bucket this time? You're not going to throw up. How do you know that? I had to care for Hitoka when we were kids and my parents were out of town. Mom gave me a bunch of instructions on how to treat food poisoning over the phone. I never forgot them. I guess that's a pretty decent perk to have a to be having a trainee to having a trained nurse for a mother. Yep. I know you're supposed to start taking liquids very slowly so your stomach can get used to the ingesting stuff again. Then once you take once you then once you can take a glass of water without throwing up, I'll get you some soup so you can actually have some nutrients in you. Well, I guess I could do worse than water and convenience store soup. You seem to be plenty prepared for this. Yeah, well, I had some t I had some time while I was waiting for you to wake up. I went out and bought some ingredients for the soup. Wait, ingredients? He's he's not talking about making it from scratch, is he? Please, God, tell me it ain't so. Before I can vocalize my doubts, Shuichi's entire body relaxes. He's basically thrown himself down into the chair he's placed next to the bed. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Sorry, just a little just a little tired. I stayed up pretty late working on stuff for the council. You're gonna work yourself to death if you keep this up. I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Really? You're gonna say that after that whole conversation we had yesterday? <laughs> and here I thought he had taken my advice to heart. I promise if it gets to be too much, I'll say something, okay? It's just that I honestly don't think it's too bad right now. I still have a reduced workload. I was just making up for some delays I had yesterday. These delays wouldn't happen to be because you took me out yesterday instead of going to work. Instead of going home to work, would they? Well... Kinda? I should have said no to his offer yesterday. It would have been better for both of us. So, Doc, what course of treatment do you have in mind for me? Really? Doc? Hey, you're the one in charge of treating me, aren't you? True enough. We're not going to do anything too fancy, just plenty of fluids and rest. That's it? What a quack! I know I should have gone with to a real doctor. Hey guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Nope, nope, I don't want to quit. Nope, 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 let's go back. Okay, there we go, okay. Oh, I can set that up if you want. Yeah, I'll drag you back to the bathroom floor and I'll leave you lying there without your phone. Then you can feel free to call a real doctor. How can you say something so terrifying with that look on your face? Well, uh, uh, well, on second thought... That's what I thought. Well, now it's just a matter of being patient. You'll keep drinking little sips of water every couple of minutes for a while until your stomach gets better. Aye, aye, Captain. Now it's Captain. Make up your mind already. <laughs> Despite the burning sensation in my throat, the painful feeling in my stomach, and overall weakness, I'm having a surprisingly good time. It's been a long. It's been so long since Shuichi and I had an entire day just to ourselves without worrying about anything. It feels good to talk to him for a long time, like we used to when we were kids. Although it was still embarrassing to have him dress me up. I don't know what was worse: being only in my boxer briefs or having or having someone you've known for over a decade play dress up with your body. Just then, our attention is snapped towards the echoing sound of the doorbell. Someone's here? That's weird. Oh, that's right. I sent everyone a message after I found you. I told them you were sick and that I was taking care of you. 
Junko and Urushihara said they'd come by after class. Oh, and Saya-chan asked me to tell you she couldn't make it because she had a shift today. She told me to apologize on her behalf. Well, it's no trouble, really. I'm surprised everyone would go out of their way to like this to come see me. What are you talking about? You're our friend. What did you expect us to do? Jesus, now they're pounding on the door. I better go let them in before Urushihara breaks your door down. After about a minute or two, I start to hear the sound of voices downstairs. Then I hear as they approach, first coming up the stairs and... <laughs> all three of them emerge from the doorway. Jun and Shuichi seem to be excitedly chatting amongst themselves. Meanwhile, Keisuke ignores the two, the two and, walks up, and walks up to me. Hey, how are you doing? After Keikun speaks, Jun seems to be reminded of the fact that I'm sick on the bed as he suddenly turns to look at me. Yeah, are you, how are you feeling? Well, I can't even stand. My throat is on fire. I haven't eaten anything since last night, and everything I do ends up coming back out. So, you know, all in all, can't complain. <laughs> Talk about optimism. So, Rats has been caring for you all morning, then? Uh, pretty much. I guess I passed out at some point during the night. Shuichi found me on the floor and brought me back to the bed. What? He managed to lift you? How strong is he? Scientists are still trying to figure that one out. Har har, very funny. <laughs> Junior's laughter is all it takes to lift the mood. Soon enough, we're all laughing together at a silly little joke. Well, either way, Yuichi seems to be doing much better. At least he's not throwing up anymore. Yuck, I didn't need to know that. He has food poisoning. What did you expect him to be doing? Baking a cake? I don't know. I didn't think about it. Well, not thinking about stuff is kind of your forte, so I expected this much. Uh, by the way, did anything happen at class today, June? Oh, that's right. After, Sho after Shosan told me you wouldn't be showing up today, I decided to take some notes for you. That way you wouldn't miss much. He pulls out a couple of, note of notebooks from his bag. I have the pages marked with some paper. I take some of the notebooks he hands me. Aw, oh, thanks. You didn't have to... This... This is a bunch of incomprehensible scribbles. Is that a drawing? You really didn't have to. Oh boy, I need an advanced linguistics degree to translate all this stuff. It's no problem. I thought you might need some la some la these later to study. The teacher said these would be in our midterms. Oh god, midterms. Whilst June is standing there, beaming with pride, I see Cake unflashing me a compassionate look. I spoke to a few upperclassmen from the club and asked them to take notes, too. I've compiled all the relevant stuff here for you. He hands a bunch of folders. Wait, are each of these folders separated for individual fields of study? Are, are they color-coded? But, k sen I've already given him my notes. I know, but it doesn't hurt to be thorough, right? I guess not. k winks at me. I feel like I should hug you. I start going through the notes, giving them a curs cursory glance. Wow, these are thorough. There's a whole chapter on integration and advanced calculus. This is college prep stuff. I don't even study this yet. Yeah, I like to be thorough. I know how, I know how much of this stuff you already had, so I got all the info I could. There's no way you did all this between the end of class and getting to my house. I worked on a lot of it during a particularly boring history class. No biggie. I, I can't imagine an honor student like Kaken doing something like this in the middle of class. Uh, thanks a lot, Kaken. Hey! And June. I swear, he's so easy to please. I bought a couple more chairs. Suddenly, Shuichi emerges from the doorway, holding two chairs in his arms, and starts setting them next to the bed. I didn't even notice you leaving. That's because I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. It seemed like you guys were talking about important stuff. Speaking of important stuff, Coach asked me to pass on a message. He said once practice starts again, he has a new training menu he wants to try. It's about time, really. The training menu I'm using right now is from back when I was in middle school. Yeah, he hasn't really altered yours at all, which is weird because misaguchi san and I both had ours changed quite a few times since I first joined. He's just being lazy as usual. I don't really think so. He might come off as lazy, but he does have a pretty sharp eye for this sort of thing. I guess he could- I guess he just didn't think there was a training menu better suited to you before. Doesn't really sound like Coach. Nah, I'm sure Arushihara is right. How would you know? Mikado since I had to fill in for our coach once we once he got sick last year. Even though he always looked like he was slacking off, whenever he whenever we started practicing, he had this very sharp look in his eyes, as if he was watching for every minor detail. He gave us all a very complete evaluation later. We were actually overwhelmed. Sheesh! How did your coach react when he saw it? He threw a fit over Mikado since I. 
He threw, threw a fit over how Mikado Sensei wasn't allowed to alter our training menu. And one month later, he gave us the exact same training menu, saying he thought of a better menu for us. Now that's someone I wouldn't trust to handle my training. Oh, that's not even the worst part. What is? The team believed it. Cake and face palms. So, yeah, I'll give you my coach if you give me yours. Yeah, on second thought, I think I'll hold on to him. Good call. Oh, I just remembered. Shouldn't you be practicing for your competition, June? What? Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. I had to take a break today anyway. What happened? Nothing much. I just think it's better if I take a little break. I wasn't getting anywhere, and this might give me some fresh perspective. I sense that something fishy's going on. What? No, no, just, there's nothing fishy going on, nothing, nothing's going on, nothing happened, just change the subject. Alright, alright, calm down. You must really not want to talk about it if you started chattering like a crazy person. What? I didn't! He repeated the same thing three times. Mm. Alright guys, give him a break, I can almost see smoke coming out of his head. Keiken and Shuichi both laugh as June hangs, hangs from his seat, pouting. Calm down, Junkin, we're just teasing you a bit. I don't think I like teasing. Hey, before you joined the group, I was the one getting teased. Oh, yeah? How was that like? Hell. What? Well, that's not encouraging. Could. It wasn't meant to be. Do you? All right, Kaken, seriously, give him a break. Why? You never came to my rescue when I was getting teased in relentlessly by Mizuguchi-san and Irata. Yeah, but you're sassy by nature, and they were only giving back what you dished out. June is far too pure for that. One second. Oh, let's go ahead and save it right here. I'll pause it briefly so I can respond to someone. Be right back, guys. And we're back! Alright, going into the final home stretch here. <sighs> Why do I feel like that wasn't a compliment? Because it really, really wasn't. Hey, I didn't mean anything bad by it. <laughs> you didn't mean anything good either. Alright, let's just change the subject, okay? Sure, what else would you like to talk about? Actually, I'm still a little sketchy as to how Yuichi-san got sick. From the corner of my eyes, I can see Shuichi's ears folding over his head. Ah, actually, that one was my fault. I took him to a food joint in the old shopping district, and he got sick from some iffy seafood. Seriously? Someone should report that place to the health department. It's not the diner's fault. He told me that that, that was his first day with a new supplier. It was a screw-up screw on their part. Still, a reputable restaurant is supposed to do rigorous checking on all produce and meats that they sell. It's a matter of public health. Not everyone can afford to check every single thing. That's a very simple diner run by one guy alone, and his cleaning standards are already top-notch. All right, fine. I'm sorry I mentioned it. I'm actually surprised that you care about that. I saw you eating yakisoba bread from the school cafeteria today. That's not exactly the cleanest place I've ever seen, I've ever seen preparing food. I didn't have time to pack a lunchbox yesterday, just... Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'd hardly call that a desperate time. That measure, on the other hand. Alright, you know what? Let's just change the subject. I think we spent more time asking to change the subject than we did actually discussing a project. A subject. Do you want us to get back to teasing you? No thanks! <laughs> I love it. The hours pass by, as, pass by quickly as the four of us chat about all sorts of things. Video games, hobbies, music, daily happenings. It's good to be able to sit down and just enjoy some extra time with my friends, even if at the cost of my health. Although, I could certainly do without Shuichi's constant reminders about needing to take one more sip. After two hours of this, I'm ready, I'm about ready to smash that glass into his face. Yeah, and I was told that if I didn't get it done by the end of the month, I'd... Oh, Yuichi, it's time for one more sip of water. Shuichi, I swear to God, I can you at least wait until I'm done talking? You do know he's doing it on purpose to annoy you, right? You're reacting to this... You're reacting like this just giving him more reasons to do it. See? Even Junkun got it. Hey! I meant it as a compliment. No, you didn't. Okay. You just... Don't just buy it that easily. You know, Shuichi, you really ought to... Yuichi, the water. Let me finish a sentence or else will help me, God! What? You'll try to get up from the bed? Sure, let me watch you fall face first into the floor. Damn it! Hmm, I think I should get started on that soup. You guys will have to excuse me, I have to go downstairs to cook. Cake invisibly arches upon hearing that. <clears throat> My condolences. <clears throat> hey, I'm a good cook. Sure you are, and I'm a rock star. Kobayashi is a renowned athlete, and also pigs can fly. What? 
Yuichi likes my cooking, right, Yuichi? Uh... Kaken leans close to my ear. Blink twice if you need help. I heard that. Good for you. That means you haven't gone deaf yet. You know what? I'll show you. I'll make the best soup you've ever had, and I'll make you beg for forgiveness. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't realize we were doing stand-up comedy. Shuichi leaves the room huffing in a fit. <laughs> the fuck? Did he kick the kitchen? Seriously, blink twice if you need any help. I didn't need it before. Now that you've made him angry, I'll be ten times. It'll be ten times worse. Um. June tries to chime in on the conversation. It can't be that bad, right? You guys are just kidding, right? Have you ever tried Mystery Food X? All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.